everyone, it's Heather with Simply Real Life. I am in the kitchen today. I'm going to be making a fun, quick, easy fall treat. Um, we're gonna make pumpkin spice donuts with only two ingredients. You need a spiced cake mix and a can of pumpkin. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more content and I will get you started and show you what we're gonna do. First off, I have the oven heating at um, 350 and this little donut pan is silicone. I picked it up at Walmart. Um, it's really easy to use and get the donuts out once you've um, put them in there, but this recipe will make more than the 12 donuts, so I just do two batches, but you could pick up more than one pan if you'd like. So we've got our can of just 100% pumpkin box of spice cake mix. All right. And by far the hardest part of this recipe is spreading the batter into the donut pan. Okay, so here's the batter. We are now ready to put it into our donut pan. You could pipe this um, with a frosting bag or just a Ziploc with the corner cut off, but I don't have the right kind of Ziploc bag right now. So I'm just going to spoon it in and spread it out. Okay, we've got the donut pan filled. I did go after I put it in there and kind of cleaned up around the edges, smoothed the top to make sure there weren't any air bubbles and cleaned off the top center part so they're not gonna have trouble coming out of the pan. And now we're going into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350 and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. All right, here we go. The first batch is done. I'm gonna let them cool a minute and then we're going to pop them out and um, give them a little glaze. All right, we have the first batch of pumpkin donuts out. I have put a cup of powdered sugar in here and just gonna add a little bit of milk, probably a couple tablespoons until it gets the right consistency and then we're gonna Put a glaze on these. You can also add a little pumpkin pie spice to your glaze. Mix this up. Add a little more so that we're able to dip them. Three tablespoons to a cup of powdered sugar. And then we're just going to pick them up, dip them in, and set them back out there to dry. It's that simple. <laughs> 